Hello everybody, welcome to video 2 of our SNAP series. Today I'll be walking you through the Unit 1 Lab 1 Alonzo project, which has you work with a number of blocks from different palettes. First, go to the costumes. This section has a number of costumes you could use for your sprite. Select Alonzo and press import. Next, duplicate the Alonzo costume, so we have two. After that, you want to flip it. I also recommend that you uncheck this Drago box because when we're going to be clicking on Alonzo, you don't want to accidentally move him. Go to scripts and go to control. We're going to be using our first block in this project. This block is going to be when I'm clicked. And next, we will put in next costume. What I just did here is that I added two different costumes. And what I made it here is that I made it so when Alonzo was clicked, he goes to his next costume. So every time I click him, he'd flip. All right, what you're gonna wanna do next is you're gonna wanna go to the operator's palette. In the operator's palette, select the pick random block. Actually, select two. Put them on your script. What this block does, it's pretty self-explanatory. You enter two different numbers and it picks a number random between these two numbers. Also remember that this is inclusive. Which means when it's picking from 1 to 10, it includes 1 and 10. So if we want to try it, we just click. Got 3. What you're going to want to do next is you're going to want to get to go to X and Y block. What this block does is it teleports the sprite to a specific location when you click it. Now what we're going to be trying to do here is we're going to make it so Alonzo, when he's going to be clicked, he flips and then teleports to a random location on the stage. So what we want to do here is we want to put pick random for X and pick random for Y. Now we can't just make it 1 to 10. What we're going to do is for X, we're going to set it to 190, negative 190 to 190. And for Y, we're going to set it negative 130 to 130. Then you just connect it over here. Now let's see what happens. What you want to do next is you want to go to the control palette and get the one green one green flag clicked block. Drag it onto your script and after get another go to X and Y block. What this green flag is going to represent is it's going to represent a restart of the game. So for X you want to put 190 and for Y you want to put negative 130. This will be where Alonzo first starts out in the beginning of the game. So when you click the green flag, you see him over here. What you want to do next is you want to get a save block. All we have to do is search for it. Make sure you get a save block without timing. We do not want it to be timing right now. And you just drag it in over here. And we're just going to write welcome to click on Alonzo. Because that is what the game's called. So as you see here, when I click the green flag, it's going to teleport this location and say, Welcome to click on Alonso. What you also want to do is we want to make it so right at the exact moment I click him, he stops saying that because we're going to start playing the game. The way to do that is you get another when I'm click block over here. And then you just put say under it. Make sure the say has nothing in it. So now as you see, I click him. It doesn't say anything. We start playing the game. What we want to do next is we want to get the forever block from the control palette. This is a block that some have difficulty using, but I'll explain how to use it. Whenever the forever block is connected to something, so like when I'm clicked, and something is inside of it, it's going to keep doing that forever until you stop it. Okay? So what we're going to be doing here is we're going to be using the forever block to continuously teleport Alonzo to a random location as we try to click it. Uh, so what we do next is we just drag this here, connect it over here, and we're also going to be adding a ghost effect block. The ghost effect block can be found in looks because it changes how the sprite looks. Uh, we l just drag it into the forever block over here. Let's clean up. Like You can clean up by right clicking and pressing clean up. 
And let's type in five over here because 25 is too much of a change for one click. And we're also going to add a way two seconds block because Alonzo, uh, we don't want Alonzo to teleport way too fast. So wait block and then make it wait two seconds. So if you want to try a game here, we're going to start over by clicking the green flag. Press that. Welcome to click on Alonzo. And the moment we click him, he's going to keep teleporting forever. And see, his ghost effect changes every time we click him. Thank you for watching. This has been video two and I'm Alvin. And I'll see you guys in the next video.